All right. Welcome back to the Built to Grow podcast. I'm your host, Tim Lyons, back in the studio, took a week off. Uh, and we're back. We're back. We got some heavy freaking episodes today. Got uh, got my boy Randy Angston on the other side of the table. What's up, buddy? How we doing? How Good. we doing? Uh, the the gym's being remodeled. I can smell the paint. It smells <laughs> real nice on the other side of that. You hear that, Sky Jackie? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lots going on over there. So we got a great episode for you guys today. Um, you're going to hear something uh, about Black Friday on this uh, episode. We're going to get into the weeds a little bit. Uh, but before we do anything, let's talk about the Iron Circle for a second. So the Iron Circle is our mastermind. It's our highest level. It's our, uh, you know, we take care of these folks. These guys are and girls are at the, the top of the game. I would say the top 2% of the industry oh, yeah. as far as revenue wise. Um, there's kind of a line in the sand. There is a line in the sand, about $30,000 a month in revenue or more. And that just seems to be where the problems are different, right? And, and so we've got our coaching program for anybody that's looking to get to thirty to $40,000 in reoccurring revenue. And then we've got the the mastermind, which is our iron circle. Um, and we've got our boardroom coming up yeah. in just a matter of weeks. Excited about that one. I mean, we're uh, we're back on our home turf. Everyone's coming out to Scottsdale, which will be nice. We've got a beautiful venue. It's uh, also this, the the home for our next growth summit in mm -hmm. June. So we're at the W there in Scottsdale. Um, and we're talking TikTok, which we're, will be interesting, which will be fun because, uh, you know, that's it's kind of uncharted territories for a lot of facilities. Yep. We've got a, gr a great guest speaker, a guy I've known for a long time. You can look him up. Maxwell Finn's coming out just to speak to the Iron Circle on that full day. We're doing a full blown workshop on, on TikTok. He is the uh, he, he runs a group called TikTok Insiders. If you want more information, you can go Google that. Uh, but yeah, uh, Maxwell's coming out and he's going to just uh, drop knowledge bombs all over us. It's yeah, super he's, a, he's a beast in the social media game. I mean, we've worked with him for for some time and, uh, you know, when it had Facebook strategies and Google and all that stuff. I mean, he's always kind of leading from the front when it comes to social. And so yeah. I'm excited to be in that room and uh, take away that benefit. Very cool. Very cool. OK, so Black Friday, right? We we talk about this every year. In fact, we've run a Black Friday campaign here at Pulse Fitness, I think, seven or eight straight years in a row. And over those seven or eight straight years, we've ranged anywhere from like twenty thousand dollars to, you know, upwards of seventy, eighty thousand dollars in collected revenue over a week weekend. Really? I mean, the Black Friday in the U.S., if you're listening to, uh, to this from out of the country, you don't really know what the hell is Black Friday. Black Friday was the event or the sale that the retailers of the olden days, uh, I mean, I think when I'm thinking olden days, I'm thinking, um, you know, like Macy's in New York City mm -hmm. and these guys would uh, put all their stuff and liquidate everything uh, towards the end of the year to get back in the black. Yeah. And on a P&L statement, black is positive and red is negative. And it's just basically took on the name Black Friday. Um, but it's been adopted by retailers and, and basically all businesses alike uh, to to be a good time of year to kind of get in the black if you're if you're behind on the year or just put some things up for sale and people are in a flurry to buy. It's just the consumer, at least in the U.S., yeah. is conditioned to to make purchases to get their wallets out and credit cards out and make purchases because in their heads. This is the best deal of the year. Yeah, it's almost like it worked. It's a dual edged sword, right? Like consumers or uh, yeah, consumers are ready to buy because mm -hmm. they believe that retail, you know, options are going to be on sale. They're discounted. It's the, the greatest offering that they can get all year type of thing. We've all heard the, you know, seen the may melee at, at Walmart, you know, for TVs and whatnot. Um, and then the other end of the spectrum is this is our opportunity to lose if we're a business, right? Like if you don't position something for Black Friday, you get zero benefit. And um, I like how you said that the, con the consumers are conditioned to buy. Mm -hmm. And that is your greatest advantage by by having an offer for Black Friday is uh, you're, you're going to pick up, you know, a few more sales or a few more opportunities than you might not or, in, or might or in ways that you might not be able to do throughout the year. Right. And right. Uh, obviously that's some of the strategy that we've kind of built into this. Yeah. And, and, you know, in the past, you know, even as, as early as last year, we've we've run these marketing campaigns and we stay out of social media. Mm -hmm. We stay. I mean, we won't run paid traffic during that week because this again, this is the highest competitive time. All the retailers are going to be, you know, spending all their money on, on social media. And why would we want to compete with that? Uh, and so 
if you're listening to this, you're like, well, wait a minute, how do I market a Black Friday to my audience? Well, we typically do it through text and email marketing and even voicemail marketing through our automation programs. We use Keep. Um, it doesn't matter what you use if you want to, if you have something else like a high level or active campaign or any of these others, you know, email and text message. But here's the caveat. If you don't have a, a contact list built at this point in time, this is your red flag warning to go and build that list now. Yeah. Right. So we got to build that list up to hundreds, if not hundreds of you know thousands of people uh, that are conditioned to opening your emails or looking for great content from you. Um, and so today, if you're listening to this and you don't have a list, it's time to go out and cultivate that list. This, this is where you would run lead magnets or, or giveaways or offers just to build that audience. So then turn around and start, you know, sending them great content. Yep. All Nur the way nurture them it. right away. Cause that's going to be the biggest thing is, is nobody's going to be opening up emails for an offer or nobody's going to be, you know, buying from something that they're not comfortable making that decision with. Mm -hmm. And you need to build that like trust and respect factor from now until then right. to basically create the opportunity, like the right to ask for the sale at that right. point, you need to earn that client's trust. So that's the buildup of kind of getting prepared for the Black Friday sale, if you will. Now, let's get into some of the specifics on on positioning and how to create your offers and, you know, kind of what to sell. So it's it's been our belief that if we're going to sell something on Black Friday, let's go for a home run. OK, we're not going to sell a, a trial or a, you know, a 30 day membership to the gym. We're going to sell a paid in full for the entire year. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the kicker. I never would like, I don't ever want anybody to discount their rates. And so like, well, Tim, if it's on sale, like how do I make this thing valuable and not discount it, right? Well, the idea here is that we incentivize, yep. and we bonus it and we put some premiums in there and we put some extra things that have value that don't necessarily cost you very much. So let's talk about a couple of those things. Well, number one, um, you could always uh, do nutrition plans or meal plans. If you get uh, your supplements on wholesale and you can bundle up some some supplements and mark them up as far as the value goes, uh, and we could sell those as a bundle, you know, like, hey, you're going to sign up for a six month uh, program. Mm -hmm. and let's just say you're five. Well, let's do some math. Six months, uh, $300 a month. That's $1,800. OK, let's say your training is $300 a month and you want to do a six month package. Well, the package price is going to be eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Now, how do we make the value of that higher? Well, that's when we add in some bonuses and some premiums and some other things that you can say, hey, the value of this package is, you know, twenty two, twenty five hundred dollars. But we're going to sell it to you today for eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah. And that's and that's the win there. And it goes back to our belief that obviously you want to you our whole understanding around the fitness business, our biggest advantage of it, right, is that monthly EFT model. And if you're slashing what it costs for you to serve your client and do it all, at, you know, at one time, you're really putting yourself at a lot of risk for budgeting that, you know, that revenue. Um, and so by layering in additional services, another thing I like other than nutrition or other things are um, things that you can deliver upon across multiple people. So maybe it's a nutrition seminar, There you go. right? So like you have one night, one deliverable and everybody who takes part in it is getting one of those sessions. Um, info products, things like that, that can go a lot further, but you don't have to continually serve that person every single time. Yes. Great ways of building additional value, but limiting the burden that it puts on you and the business to deliver on that. Yeah, I like that. And that's big. Yeah, that's big. And so when we do, when we put together these campaigns and we put together the offers, we typically do a good, better, best model. Like here's good, better, and best. So within those three price points, we found you know, somewhere under a thousand dollars for the good offer is is you know, and I've even seen six ninety seven sell pretty dang well. Now, you know, depending on your your price points for your services, what is worth six ninety seven? It may be a three month deal. It may be a four yeah. month. It just depends on you and your model. So like, so something under a thousand, somewhere between a thousand and two thousand, and then something for the good, better, and then the best would be something above two thousand, maybe into three or even five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Um, you'll be surprised. People jump on those ones as well. And so for for us here at Pulse over the past several years, we've been in that three thousand, uh, you know, middle range, and then five or six thousand on the high end. 
and we've sold so many of them guys i mean it's just um it's wild it's wild and to see these these sales coming in when you're sitting at the at the uh thanksgiving day table and these sales are coming in it's amazing and you know obviously we we don't want to condition our current clients to always be waiting around for some of these sales but w this is one of those things where we limit the number that are available we're not burning through you know 40 or 50 memberships at and, and like we said, you know, putting the business at risk because we've collected. Now we've got to turn around and try and figure out how to keep this money all year. Um, but, the, you know, we're, we're also able to because I know that we have a couple of clients here at Pulse that like that is where they pick up their their annual mm -hmm. every year. And I mean, we used to kind of I don't want to say hate it because, you know, you feel like, well, why why can't we get that client paying our full rates and stuff like that? Or, or you know, just a normal just membership. But we have that client for eight years. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. it's still serving the purpose on both ends. And so some of that conditioning that happens with those current people, I mean, you'll pick up one or two of those members that probably wouldn't be a member at your gym had they not made the, yeah. that that available, had we not made that available. And that's the other side of this. Typically when we sell this and we market it, we try to keep our current clients out of as that As list. much as possible, yeah. But we know that, you know, clients have multiple email addresses and you don't, you don't know who Betty Boop 29 is. And that just <laughs> happens to be Mel and Mel saw your email, you know, yeah. you have Mel's other email excluded. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so there's a lot of things that, you know, and some, some gyms love sending, selling this to their current clients and they just basically make, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. I can think of a guy named Matt Weaver, who's done this yeah. several years in a row and he loves it. He picks up you know, anywhere from the low end, 150,000 to, you know, over $350,000 in collected revenue over a weekend. Um, and he loves it. Right. And, and, but, you know, he is selling to his current clients. That's just not something that we do. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's up to you. Right. Correct. You're, you're, so, so you've got the perfect storm. You've got this, uh, you know, condition to buy. You've got uh, a good, better, best offer. We're staying out of social media as far as trying to compete at the CPM level with all of these other retailers. Uh, so we're using um, email marketing and owned text messages. Owned lists, owned, owned traffic. Yep. We so, talked about that in past episodes. So we typically can generate, you know, thirty to $50,000 with zero ad spend. Which is huge. And that's, that's the biggest thing. I mean, all the time we've got gyms that are, you know, in a position they want to grow, but they don't know how. You know, they want to move the, the needle of their business, but they don't know how. Like, this is an opportunity where, guys, it is bare. You don't need anything. You need a, a couple of pieces of software and a list. Tim just gave you exactly how to go make that stuff happen. I mean, mm -hmm. if you have that stuff in place, there is no excuse for you to be able to walk at least, you know, 10, yeah. 15, 20,000 dollars in this weekend. Um, it, 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 it's, it's almost too, this is the perfect storm for, for mm -hmm. selling these things. And so take advantage of that. And then, my biggest piece of advice is turn around and use that to grow the business. Don't turn around and don't put it into a piece of equipment. Don't put it into, I don't know, all of these different things that we get hung up on and caught up on that are new certifications and things like that. Go back to the basics, put it back into your marketing, coaching. put it back in coaching, put it back in, you know, somebody who's going to help lead you to the next spot because that's what they do. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously we're one of those options, but uh, as long as you're moving forward with someone like that's half of the battle guys. Yep, yep. Um, one of the topics that I've been thinking about for a podcast episode is along those lines. It's because we make these decisions as, as gym owners to just go back into the trenches and do what we've been doing when the opportunity is right there in front of you. So that's the biggest thing though. Turn around. It's like income producing activities, right? You can't turn around and free up your time and then go spend it on the beach and expect to make more money. Right, like go right. back into the business and spend your time, reinvest in your business. This is one of those times. I would say reinvest in yourself, right? Yeah. Like yourself, you're the biggest asset that you have. So if you can, um, you know, level up and, mm -hmm. you know, call it up leveling yourself, be, be it coaching or finding good marketing uh, uh, training or, or masterminds. Uh, that's that's where we would tell you to reinvest right back back into marketing and things like that and coaching. So so the the other thing is um, uh, let's get back in a little bit more of the tactical side, because I want to give you as much of the ammunition. And I'll tell you why in a second to do this on your own um, it, it, to, to be successful. Um, this this campaign that we run, this is a series of it's probably, you know, I haven't counted, but let's just say there's twenty five messages to points you know, of contact or something. points of contact this isn't a one email black fridays today it's a build-up series it's a cart open it's a cart cart closing it's a cyber monday reopen it's a free it's a whole system of things that happen and that's the reason why it's successful it's not a one email or a three email sequence it's a 
full-blown marketing campaign, something that I've built years and years ago, and I've iterated on this thing, and I've built this thing to where this is the master campaign. This thing works, and it works for so many different gems. I mean, the, the one kicker here is that that contact list is there. If you don't only have 100 people, good luck, right? You might catch one, well, right? you we, might two, right? So we're so confident. We've done this with guarantees every year. We didn't collect unless our, our clients made, made money. Made money yeah. and we're we're so worked. confident, <laughs> yeah. Um, but here's the here's the here's the kicker. This year we're not running a Black Friday workshop. Whoa, we're just not going to do it. In fact, um, we decided uh, a couple weeks ago that we are only offering this to our Iron Circle this year. Our Iron Circle gets it. If you're in our Iron Circle, you get it. You get the workshop. It's a full blown seven eight hour uh, workshop where we build this thing together. I give it to you. We build it. We build your offers together. We we test things. We give you the funnels. We, we, we actually have several calls after to, to review your offers and make sure that everything's tight. We test. It's a lot of work, guys. It is a ton of work. It's a lot on my plate. And as of right now, I'm just too busy. I've got the remodel. We've got Iron Circle events. We've got our growth summit coming up. And I just had to make a game time decision to say, hey, we can't do this for everybody this year. We're just going to do it for Iron Circle because that's what we do. We take care of the Iron Circle, make sure that they're covered. And, and I apologize if you were looking forward to it this year, just not able to do that. Um, unless, of course, you join our Iron Circle, then you could get that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if that's something you're interested in, um, feel free to reach out. But, uh, you know, hopefully within this episode, we've given you enough ammunition to be able to kind of go and do it yourself. Um, now, of course, the words that we use and the timing and the, and the, you know, the cadence of our emails and the text messages and the voicemail scripts and that stuff, that's kind of proprietary to what we we offer. Um, and again, if you're in the Iron Circle and if you're listening to this in the Iron Circle, congratulations, you do get you do that. Get We're going to make sure that you guys have that uh, taken care of. Um, this year for me and my actual facility, we're not actually running one this year because we are rebranding and we don't necessarily need to do it this right. year. Um, so we're kind of in a different place, but yeah, just my time. So, so, so tight right now. It's just unfortunate that we weren't able to do it for everybody, but you know, iron circle, if you're, if you're interested in getting this and, and this is the one thing that you need to get to over the hump, I mean, join our iron circles while we can say, cause we are going to offer it for them. Yep. Uh, but just not to the public this year. Yeah. And who knows? You could probably, you know, self-liquidate the cost of the Iron Circle with your Black Friday wins if uh, not, not if you probably. play. Right. <laughs> you know, we know that. We will. Yes, yeah, so we will. It, so. Um, but yeah, that's it's a big change, obviously, for us this year. That's something that we've, I know, I'm sure we're going to get questions and, you know, a bunch of asks uh, for it or more. But uh, yeah, another big perk for the Iron Circle. I mean, they get the best of what we have to offer. And, and if you guys knew what we made on a, on a, workshop you'd be like tim you're crazy for not running this um but honestly time is is more valuable to me today right now than what the the workshop could produce for us so uh, iron circle congrats if you're going to get this which is awesome and i'll be there uh, every step of the way for you and, and randy will be as well and we'll get this thing built out for you and if you're interested in getting this uh, and joining the iron circle it's a great opportunity you're just going to get it right that'll be a quick quick win you will look right at it. Pay, you'll yeah. probably pay i know you'll pay for the uh, iron circle by itself with this one campaign so it's kind of a a perfect storm for you yeah. so congrats ironcircle.net it's got more information on the iron circle you can jump i think you can schedule a call yeah i know you can schedule a call right from there <laughs> i think no i'm pretty sure right. yeah um yeah we'll jump on a call together we'll go over that uh what that group looks like what it can do for you and then uh Obviously, we'll go into a little bit more depth in the Black Friday stuff if that's something that interests you. But right. we'll uh, we'll take you there. All right. That's it for this episode, guys. Until next time, keep changing lives. We'll see you on the next show. Bye. All right. And thank you for listening to that episode of the Built to Grow podcast where we help gym owners win. Now, do you want to connect with me and other gym owners online? All you need to do is join our private Facebook group, Business Talk with Fitness Professionals. Just head on over to Facebook and type in Business Talk with Fitness Professionals. And when you do... We're going to give you our 10 marketing strategies seven-figure gym owners use to win. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Until then, keep building something great.